Hey guys, Road Warrior back here. I wanted to talk about something in Fishing Planet that I've noticed and I've picked up on probably the last five or six weeks. Something I wanted to test out pretty thoroughly before I put a clip up on it. Uh, I wanted to talk about barometric pressure in regards to not not just like bite rate that sort of thing, more so where the fish uh, are located in the water column as a result of the barometric pressure. As you can see there, looking up at the barometer. Uh, in between the, uh, the, the Fahrenheit uh, of the water temperature or the air temperature rather uh, you'll notice that that barometer is showing pretty much full that's meaning that's high pressure one thing that I've really picked up on and why I'm putting this clip together uh, showing you a, a really large sample size here uh, is I've noticed it, it tends to drive whatever you're going for for the most part there's a few rules to the exception or exceptions to the rule rather uh, but you'll, you'll kind of find that they're usually higher up in the water the higher the pressure is uh, Where this comes into play would be a lot of competitions as well Not to mention if you're free farming that sort of thing as I'm trying to target uh, some smallies here I've noticed differences in the best five challenge uh, as opposed to having low pressure high pressure as you can see there high pressure uh, These are at the top now. That's a mid pressure peak uh, so you'll notice that they're nor near the uh, Near the bottom or the midwater section um, more exclusively I'll notice uh, if you're getting these things low uh, more times than not it's either mid pressure or low pressure uh, as you can see a nice four pounder there again moving over here uh, back to high pressure you can see it's midwater to uh, the upper water column is where I was getting a bite and you'll start noticing this more and more I want you guys to kind of you know play around with this yourself whether you're just in free mode fishing or in whatever particular comp you're in and just kind of pay attention as you go along I'll, I'll narrate here and there but this is a pretty long clip and I just wanted to show you the sample size and not just here but at multiple lakes uh, using multiple lures um, and then I'll, I'll chime in here and there but just kind of pay attention to the uh, upper left as well as well as where I'm working the uh, the lure in each individual lake As you can see there, that, that other, you know, this last fish here was, you know, look at the barometric pressure or the barometer. Uh, it was at the low section of the water column. Now, where this is also important, whether you're free farming or you're in a uh, competition, let's say here, you know, you're practicing for the saltwater giants out there, sort of thing. You'll notice here that the, uh, the pressure is high, not, and it's not just because it's sunny. I, I think what I've noticed more and more, I'm not saying... Uh, that you can't catch them lower or you know right on the surface that sort of thing but I'm wanting to make this point just in the event that uh, you know there is a sweet spot in my opinion uh, in regards to the strike zone I'm not saying that you can't uh, you know go lower or higher than I just was there but uh, you know just to kind of put you in a position uh, where you can be a little more successful and I've noticed this more and more uh, again just right here at the surface and I think that could be part of the problem as well in some of the competitions. I'm not saying that solves all the uh, the horrible RNG we may get, that sort of thing. But uh, just just in general, I wanted to, I wanted to bring this to the uh, Fish and Planet community, uh, all, all the gamers out there that enjoy this game. Uh, just little tips I like to throw up on my channel. But nonetheless, I want you guys to uh, you know again test this out for yourself. As you can see here in the saltwater giants, uh, the pressure there is actually low. Um, it's something I wish I'd have paid attention to in this run that I had. If you guys remember the other day that watched me stream this, uh, I even said that I wish I would have paid attention a little sooner. Uh, but I was trying to, and I even went back and watched that clip because it's something I've been working on. But I went back and watched my own clip to see uh, kind of what was different about the weather. But you'll notice again here, uh, it's in the mid water column, and I think that is due to that. This it's not even mid pressure this time in this particular peak. It's actually low pressure. And if you look at that barometer and see uh, how low that pressure is again time and time again if you guys watch me playing that i'm not saying somebody didn't catch some near the surface or whatever but i mean i was on absolute fire uh, as far as in my in, in my mind i'm thinking you know there is a, a definite sweet spot and i think you guys have found the sweet spots before whether you're fishing for perch or whatever but i'm going to show you in a lot of the upcoming clips as well uh, why this uh, is definitely uh, to your benefit 
Uh, if anything, it just gives you a precursor uh, of a ballpark of where you need to kind of start and target to, to go first here. Even uh, here at uh, Sanders be going for some pike. Uh, as you notice, the pressure is high, so I'm going to go from spot to spot and just kind of watch whether the pressure changes, uh, whether it's cloudy or sunny. I'm paying attention to the pressure where I'm working a lure high or low or midwater. As you can see there, as I've hooked into a, another pike here, um, it's a lot to do with the pressure in my opinion. And again, somebody can, might be able to prove me wrong, but uh, uh, in my head, this is something I'm definitely going to start focusing on. And it's maybe something, again, I would really, really like to see you guys try try this for yourself and maybe get back to me you know, in a week or two or whatever. You don't have to comment uh, right away. And I know sometimes, like I said, you know, I'm not saying I'm claiming to be the best or that sort of thing, but I'm just looking to, uh, you know, pass things on as I evolve on the game myself. I, I don't claim to be better than anybody else, that sort of thing. So uh, you guys don't take these things out of context, but if it's something I, I think that I've figured out that it's going to help me, uh, you guys know the type of person I am. I am someone that will clip stuff together and, and try to help you as well. But, you know, uh, this is a really large sample size, and I've been something I've been working on probably, like I said, the last four to six weeks um are noticing even in competitions and this also could you know help you in some of your bait comps or even again farming in general let's say that uh, you're farming for perch that sort of thing whether you even you know maybe you want to use a float on a high pressure day uh, bottom rod on a low pressure day depending on where they're at and that sort of thing but here's another uh, a, a thing just just kind of watching here and i've noticed this before and some of the taming comps, uh, you know, that's high pressure. So uh, you want to say top water would probably be the way to go. Uh, as you look in up the barometer, it's, you know, it's high pressure. Uh, and this is a weird peak. So later on, what I did is I fast forwarded in the peak where it drops off to mid pressure. And, and you'll see that then you might even notice that when you're, you know, farming that sort of thing, all of a sudden your bite dies off. In my opinion, I, I think part of it's to do with, uh, you know, the param barometric pressures driving the, uh, the fish deeper, shallower, uh, that sort of thing.
Okay, guys, on a side note, I got a cold, too, and the, the comps today have been miserable. That's why I hadn't been streaming. I might stream a few later on tonight, guys. See again, the same kind of thing. In my in, in my opinion, the same principle could be used throughout the game. Uh, again, there, there's going to be you know exceptions to the rule. Maybe on shark, you might have a mid pressure that drives them from you know uh, mid water to the upper one third. You know that sort of thing. And I'm not again, I'm not saying you couldn't catch these things on the bottom of the lake. Uh, but nonetheless, I think it's a, a good benchmark or a, a, a something to definitely consider in regards to having a you know a nice uh, nice target to shoot for. Maybe you start again your lure selection, whether you're running a buzz bait here or uh, anything that you'd like to use, even a spoon, uh, buzz bait, spinner, crank bait. You know maybe the uh, the upper one third on the, the high pressure uh, and in the low pressure. Uh, you're probably going to want to use a spoon or something near the uh, the you know mid water or anything. Even here, you'll notice on these perch, uh, you might find this in some of the uh, competitions to where uh, you know you're not getting a bite on the shad at the lower one third. Uh, you might even try something like this. I've noticed this before in the Nile Emperor, where I've had to switch over to a swim bait or something, or you know lighten my uh, sinker so to speak. Uh, same thing here. You'll be amazed to hear at this fish uh, again. High pressure, midnight peak. I would caught a couple. I even got a trophy with this uh, and another one, but I didn't want to put that up in the clip. But nonetheless, watch what happens here at uh, the upper one third or midwater here with the Cayman swim bait. Yeah, yeet! Okay, guys, just something to consider. If you did find this helpful, do please leave a like. I did work quite a bit on this, but I hope this does really help you guys out, and take care. We'll see you in the next one.